would be a freaking guy right there, wouldn't there be? This guy has an overwatch. Drag her back behind, thank you. Holy shit, this place. Mm. I'm getting sandwiched here, I gotta get out of here. Fuck. Shit, 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 shit. No! Did you get it? Oh! oh, oh. God. Funny part is, I just talked to Greco a couple of days back. Dumb motherfucker didn't see it coming. And that's why this here is a perfect gig. Low stress, decent pay. You don't want something better? I mean, Greco is, was, a fuck up. But he had ambition. You have to respect that. Hell, in this business, this life, you keep your head down or you lose it. That right there is a real moral to story. I love it when they separate after the little bro conversations. Get upstairs. Maps to the moonshine. Weapon slaughter. Yes, that vest. Where the moonshine camps. Oh my god, they're so far away. I heard that end bomb. Come here, wild boy. Maybe better go in inside, just come back out again. Dude, that's so fucking far. Are you kidding me? That man have a gun. How we doing, Berkey? Oh, Nikki Burke. 
Bevis can't be happy about oh, what you you got Carl's attention. He's back at the Sweetwater Distillery. Any idea how he'll react when I go in there? He's bug shit crazy swamp people. How do you think he'll react? Still, might be worth keeping him around. No one knows the bayou like he does. Oh, you one for this, Nikki? Damn right you do. Confront Carl Bevers. Almost threw a grenade there. I need resupply and point for done. I'm in point for done and I need a new set of wheels. Service with a smile. Don't run me over, please. Show me what you got. Just refill my ammo. Didn't hit anything this time. Progress. On my way. Let's go talk to Mr. Carl Bevers. He knows to buy you, you say? Man, this car sounds so powerful. Let's into that engine purr. The fellas say you should uh, maybe leave. Sentry. It's gotta be a quick way in here. Yeah. Side door. Right back here again. Gotta get upstairs. The stairs are right there. Ninja. I ninja sneak sauce it. Check the corners. Please don't turn around. Okay, that's not stealthy. Come on. Come on, Lincoln. How do I get to a floor higher? Go around. I'll take the mess and cabinet. Ooh, double barrel shotgun. This useless fucking body out of here. Closer. Getting closer. What's the bug up your ass? Most of that shine we lost belonged to us. You try and pull something on Barbieri. That dead-eyed fucker will find out. Meaning he'll come after not just you and me, but Ma, Penny, kids, everybody. Now we gotta get ahead of this. You could always put it on bike. Quibble something. No, dipshit. This is all going on you. Dang, savage, man. 
Okay, I'm definitely not trusting you. And fuck, Bark! You talk too much. Yeah, I was gonna let him live anyways, to be honest with you. <laughs> Emptied out the distillery. It's primed and ready for your boys. Over still standard. My boys are on the way. Everything's in place. The butcher's on his way. Time to put that rabbit dog down. Alright, just have to go kill Barbary now. And how did Lincoln Clay convince? Thomas Burke, Vito Scaletta, and the woman known as Cassandra to work together. He called a sit-down. He told them to meet him at an old plantation house in the bayou. When he had them all in the same room, he laid out how they were going to take down Marcano. Lincoln could be very persuasive. Chit-chat time. Have a little powwow. Oh, he's got to kill the butcher. Ooh, my car's still here. That's when I try to get out of town. Gotta straight murder this guy. All right, Berkey, let's have a chit chat. What's this all about? Getting ready for some company? Barbieri should be here any minute now. Barbieri's coming here. So he claims. Never known the man to be a liar. I just got off the phone with him. I told him if he wanted to settle up, he'd be here waiting. For fuck's sake, Burke, you don't ever tell your enemy when and where you're gonna set up ah, the Christ, you're much too serious about all this. It takes the fun out of it. Besides, that's the worst that could happen. You could get us all killed. Aye, that I could. Oh my god. It's all right. It's just nothing. Butcher and his boys are right behind me. You sure? If there's one benefit to being your miserable daughter, it's not know what a posse of Dago assholes out for blood looks like. I'll call him out with a spotlight on the water tower. I loaded up some barrels with a special petrol mixer cooked up. I scatter them across the yard. A bullet will take them out. So don't be close to them when they blow. I'm gonna snipe those guinea fucks from the crane. You should head up to the roof. You enjoy this too much. One last thing. You try to cut and run, I'll plant you myself. We clear? I'll see you when this is done. You might. You all right back there, lass? What's that? My da asking how I'm doing? Whatever have I done to warrant such fucking concerns? A ah, shite girl, a simple yes or no would have been fine. They're coming from the left. I got them. Fucking stop walking. Got me. 
Really? Holy shit. Fuck off my route. Don't forget the little surprise I cooked up for those guinea fucks. Irish run the point now. Irish run the point now. Don't ease up on the twiggers. With Shots in the heart. The eggplant rolling cuts finally decided the show. Armor truck came prepared. Hey, I don't give two fucks about Burke's little pet nigglet. I want the mick alive. Got it? I'm gonna give him an ass fucking. He's never gonna fucking forget. Bring him back fucking alive, that cocksucker. A nigglet? I don't know if I can count that, but whatever. Got you. Oh shit. They are angry with me. Reload, please, Lincoln. Keep coming, they'll run me fluked up your poopy. Oh, I said half the shit this guy's saying. And the fact that he can hit me from there. I'm impressed. Last time I took your knee. Now I'm gonna take your fucking head. Uh! Confront the butcher. I didn't think you still had it in you, you dumb Irish fuck. Whoa, getting under cover. Get to the butcher. That's talk. Should have saved a bullet or two. A nigger and a mech working together. Fuck me. I never thought I'd live to see the day. What can I say? Brave new world. Still alive then. I see the legs still giving you fits, huh, fucko? Ah, oh, fuck you. You won't be so cocky once they take the acetylene to you. Fuck you! What do you think happens next, huh? You're gonna die, motherfucker. You're gonna hold next to me. You, your whole organization. You're gonna suck my dick in hell. You all right? Grab his legs. Time to get him into the garage. I mean, we were never able to reconstruct precisely what happened to Barbieri, primarily because his body wasn't found until the mid-1980s. The Army Corps of Engineers was dredging the bottom of the Mississippi River, and his remains were found in the trunk of an old car. Both legs were broken so many times there was barely any bone left. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but it is. Go restock my medicine cabinet. Only way Welcome to me, humble goth. Pinkerton Titan added to my service call. Sounds kind of. I don't know. Oh, that sounds. Meet Murky at the distillery. Right. Why is there a medicine cabinet on the outside of the building? That doesn't make any sense. Why is it Pinkerton? Oh, it's an armored car? <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> Not my style. Right out of here. I guess an armored truck would be useful in circumstances that would warrant it, but not really. 
needed as of right now. Most of my car time I'm using the car is to get it from point A to point B. If I do it, I'm gonna do it in style, ladies and gentlemen. You do anything, you do with style in life. Like this corner. 